For Union High School senior Glenn Wilson, the beginnings of his video production project started like many ideas, not yet fully formed. We had asked our teacher if we could go out and record something. He said, what? We said, we don't know. And then I was like, how about a documentary? And, he's, and then he replied with, documentary about what? And I said, Union. And he's like, what kind, like, what about Union? I said, oh, maybe we could make a documentary about the old Union. With the idea for his documentary, Glenn was still at a loss for how to proceed until he heard about a treasure trove of information in a Union High School storage room. We asked the school if they had any records about the old Union. And they're like, oh yeah, here's two tubs worth of information. And we were just like, oh, okay. That, uh, that definitely helps a lot. Uh, one of them actually has a, I think it's this one, sweater, yep. The tubs also contained old yearbooks and photos dating back to the very first years the original Union High School was open. Glenn has also interviewed several Union High School alums, Bob Crosby and Eileen Abernathy, from the class of 1952. This one is the one Bob's in. Do you really want to know what high school was for? <laughs> sure. S studies. That was down the list. Girls and basketball <laughs> and track. I just moved uh, in my eighth grade from Tillamook, Oregon, and I went to a two-room school that was much smaller. So I thought Union was big, but it really wasn't. <laughs> Glenn's documentary will look at how Union has changed from a four, then six-room school located on the site of what is now Mill Plain Elementary School to its current campus spread across more than 45 acres. As for the next steps in his documentary... I want to get that last interview and then I'm going to start piecing everything together with it. For Glenn and the graduates he's interviewed, there will be a sense of pride in having been a Union High School student. I loved the high school. That was, that was the best time of my life.